You know, what is going on with my life? I got to change, change the room. Get it out. Wipe off your phone. <laughs> and the light is just weird. Yeah, it don't usually be that bright. Yeah, I'm, I'm like extremely red, you know. I know, I don't like know why. From, like, I'm, like I'm from DR. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Well, at least you can see your face. Wipe off your camera, see if that helps. Huh? Wipe off your camera, see if that helps. I did, I did. Oh, okay. It's like wiping the ass, it's never going to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> Television, that's right, TV, TV, for another week of interesting shit to talk about. This week, <laughs> we've actually waited. We didn't come on Tuesday because we wanted to uh, talk about the inauguration. That's right. Uh, that's wait an extra day just in case um, somebody blew up the White House last night at 10 o'clock. <laughs> we wanted to be able to talk about that as well. So tonight, we will be talking about the inauguration and their first day of work. Tonight with me as usual, my man DJ PRS One, and once again we got Doc with us. What's up, Alicia Godin? How you doing? Got me. I am blessed. doing great. Thank you guys for having me on again. This is so cool. And yes, folks, we are related. <laughs> yes, but she's much better looking, and the smarter one in the family. Hence, hence the, the doctor. Hence part. the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I am my own doctor. I'm a doctor of thugonomics. There you go. I can't tell there you, you that's John Cena. <laughs> You'd be a doctor of your uh Trini Spice FM. All right. There you so go. So let's talk about this inauguration. Did you guys see it? Ooh. I mean, this this shit was awesome. I it, was it was excellent. It I got was. goosebumps, I got teary-eyed. I mean, when that young lady, Amanda um Gorman. Gorman. Right. When she made, when she's that poetry that she wrote and recited, man, I couldn't get the goosebumps off of me. What, yeah. what, what an experience for a young lady to have to be in the inauguration, uh, um, saying one of your pe poetry pieces is just wow. You know what I mean? 22 years old. Right. 22 years old, the youngest poet they've ever had at an inauguration. That is um, just amazing. What Definitely. I've heard is that she is actually a favorite of of Dr. Dr. Jill Biden. Dr. Biden enjoys like her poetry. The, the first lady. The okay. First lady. Okay. Yes, the first lady. Yes. First, first, first lady Biden. Lady. First lady, President Biden, Vice right. President Kamala Harris. It's just getting good. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see you have pearls on. I'm wearing my pearls. And I don't have my uh, chucks on. You know, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. And 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 for all the women who are home and don't have a pearl necklace, it is okay. If you have a man at home, he can give you one within the next <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> There's always Amazon and Wish. Well, let's go Wish with. Wish takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're getting real pearls at Wish, though. <laughs> Wish would be sitting there wishing you didn't right. order from Wish. I want to say a big shout out to Miss Betran. Well, Thanks for tuning in. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she but always I, tunes in. I I was really impressed with the young lady. I, I I mean, you could just see the excitement, the joy, the exuberance on her face as she yes. was um, reading her work. Uh, for the for the world to hear. That's right. Um, she was amazing. It was. I mean, it just you can tell it was hers. She owned it. She, she owned, owned it. it. She, she did. Owned she moment. did. She owned that. I swear yeah, she it did. Was it was beautiful. Um, and as a man, as a man, I, I was so excited. It, right. It's just um, incredible. I have a wife. You know, my wife. We're the same age. You know, all that good stuff. But you know, we have two daughters. You know what I'm saying? My one is uh 22, be 23 this year, and the other one is is nine. And you know, I make we make sure that when we buy her toys, you know, we make sure that we buy you know different um, uh, variations of Barbies. You know, we we got the um, Barbie with the um, uh, uh, 
prosthetic leg, the Barbie with the ventilago. We have the dark skin, brown skin. We get the white dolls too. We right. go with that. You don't have the LGBTQ Barbie. No, I'm not doing that one. But, <laughs> but they do got them. They do have it. We were talking about it, and they do have the LGBTQ Barbie. <laughs> Almost couldn't get it. My daughter is not into Barbies, so I didn't even know all of these Barbies existed. Yeah, they they yeah. said Barbie was yeah. uh, is a lesbian, and that yeah. um, Ken was the front. We we're not even going to talk about that. We're not even going to talk about that. That. So let's get back to the inauguration. Right, right, right. There is so much to talk about with right. this inauguration. I mean. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think was in the letter? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. I was talking to somebody this morning and they say the letter was actually attached to a rock. So I don't know if that was true, but I was talking to Miss Brown this morning in Como and that's what she told me. Well, man, man President no Biden said the letter was very generous. Generous. That's what he said. I never heard, heard of anybody describe it like that. Generous. Yes, I sat and so, thought about it. What what how do you write a generous letter? Um, do you put money in there? I'm not sure what is a generous letter. It's when um, she puts you in the friend zone, dog. You get that letter from her, she puts you in the friend the zone. The friend That's zone, right? Generous, right. <laughs> and basically he says he's not gonna reveal the letter unless uh he gets that phone call or Trump reaches out to him to have a sit down or a talk or even a phone call. If uh, because uh, as far as I understand, they have not physically communicated. Um, no, not even and a they text. Will not. So therefore, right. we will not know what's in that letter. We can only assume, and I think it's the joy right. of assuming what's and, in that and, letter. Right, and I think part. I think Trump tried sending a tweet out, but it somehow it didn't go. <laughs> well, you, you know, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like a child with an yeah. Xbox. Right. Just I'm, I'm gonna speak banned. about his, his Facebook and his uh, which we call that account, but the um, it, it was so it was it was just so it was classless, but it, it's. It's what I think we all expected yesterday to see him and um, uh, his wife scary out of the White House and jump on Marine One, go down. I think they went to Virginia and he had like a little rally or whatever. Right. Yeah. He talked and, uh, to his people out there. Yeah. He spoke and he wished, you know, the next. Um, he didn't say him by name. He wished the uh, uh, the new, uh, well, the new administration. Party administration you know he wished them the best and all that stuff and isn't it petty though that he can't even say their names that was just it's so he's so it's so simple like what come on man you're he wished them he wished them a lot of luck and he right, also but, um, but you would never say their names you sometimes you just gotta be a bigger man come on now you're just like a spoiled kid i'm gonna take my ball and go the fuck home you know what i mean it's, it's, like who geez. are we talking about have you not been here for the past four years <laughs> like yes he is it's, oh my true. god I'm, you know, I guess I'm still trying to hope that he's out get some no. type of class. No, no I, keep your hope for your kids, mm -mm. not for I, him. What, what, what did um Michael Rappaport call him? He called him a dick stain. Dick stain, Donald. Trump. A dick stain. You know, and that that's that is so low. You know, that you a dick stain. You know, but that that is perfect for him. That's you a know, Italian I, verbiage. <laughs> it, it, it is so awful. The way I mean, I just I ain't never seen anything like it. It's so disappointing, right? Um, because you you look to see that that torch pass the right way, the right way, you the know, correct way. You you invite them in the house. You you invite them in the, the White House. You have that moment where y'all sit down and you talk for a period of time. Um, then you go and you know there's a letter and you know whatever. And then after a couple hours, you leave and the um the president, you know Joe Biden, would take over. It's just it's like I said, it's disappointing. At the same time, it's like what Alicia said, you know, it is, it is what it is. It's what we right. expect, what we've seen the last four years. Um, the inauguration. I honestly, think, I honestly think, though, that this inauguration was perfect for the time that we're in right now. Yes. It, it really represented something. It was like, it was a new beginning. And in all honesty, I like watching that, I was so thankful that Trump kind of got on Air Force One and flew away mm -hmm. into the dust. Like this is where now it was just that that new beginning for Washington, for this administration, and and you know President Biden. His speech was all about healing yeah. and really bringing the people together. And in all honesty, um, like we have. We, we have something in Trinidad, uh, a saying in the Caribbean that, 
You don't want anybody put heavy foot. It's like that that dark gloom. Okay. I see Trump being there. Uh -huh. he put some heavy foot on that whole ceremony. I think it, it would have been about him. It, it, he, it probably he would be would the have. guy to like trip and fall down the stairs, and it would it would just be about him. It would just be about him. He would say something stupid as always. And he would just not follow protocol as always. He would embarrass someone and himself as always. Mm -hmm. It just was worth everyone's peace of mind for him not to be there. And I think it was beautiful. I think everything was very peaceful. There was a calmness. And, uh, it could not have gone any better given the time period that we're in. Given the fact that two weeks ago, guys, we were sitting here talking about that horrible, horrible attack on that, that same said Capitol building that they were in being sworn in yesterday. That same right. building had people swinging like monkeys on a tree right. all over that building. It was unbelievable and, 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 and I'm, I'm, to the day i'm gonna um piggyback off what you said alicia i agree with you. i think it's best that he he did leave because um the proud boys they they were actually expecting him to do something they was expecting him to stay and put up a fight and not leave uh to the point that they're so disappointed right now that they are dogging trump they're, they're, they're really upset with him. They're pissed. They called him a shill. You know, they're like really <laughs> dis they're distancing themselves from him. They're like, yo, you, we came up here and stormed the castle. You supposed to hold on and not leave. And bitch, you down there chilling. You got you got in the plane and you you just left us. Yep. You told us you, yep. you had us. It was going, I'm not leaving. And um, the Proud Boys are... I mean, they, they they feel slighted now, which that's what the fuck they get. Yep. They feel slighted now. As he jumped on that plane. He was going to pull the martial law, and they didn't realize that he could not do that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Yeah, I think they were so too proud to realize. He was just giving them, but it's just like this entire shenanigan of the election being stolen. And every time he got on a platform and he viewed this lie he was just collecting more and more money people right. kept donating and donating and donating to him Don't and, and this is what he did it's based on lies freshly baked lies <laughs> and now everyone is just sit you know they, they're kind of left licking their wounds but it, it serves them right you know exactly. the QAnons and all of these groups and these white supremacist groups mm -hmm. i mean it's like you guys are looking like real fools. As and they're all, getting, they're all getting arrested. Right. One of the leaders just got arrested yesterday. Yeah. And, and, they're and, not and, done. They're right. And out of the 140 pardons that he wrote, none of them was on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, he was, a, he was strongly advised not to pardon any of them. Damn. And what was crazy, I saw um, a, a news clip with this guy today who was so adamant, and by the way, this guy was from Florida. This is it's so sad. It is embarrassing. <laughs> this guy is with his camera, his little phone, and he's like, oh, yeah, Trump. Uh, you know, Mr. Trump said, President Trump, he's not going anywhere. You know, Biden is not being inaugurated. That's not going to happen. And so then they show a clip after the inauguration, the same guy, He's like, huh, well, you know, I think I need to go home and reevaluate my life because I didn't think that this was going to happen. Dude. Oh, shit. We didn't think. You are on international TV because nothing now is national TV. We are international. Yeah. We are global. Everyone is watching us, all eyes on us. So now you've made an international fool out of yourself. <laughs> oh, Ms. Betran on here. Ms. Betran, I got to read what you said. She said, it's funny how when Agent Orange came into the office, uh, his M.O. was to undo everything Obama did that was good. Now, 
President Biden has to come in and undo everything that Agent Orange did. That was bad. Ain't that so much called good old fashioned poetic justice. What did he do? He did like eight, he wrote like eighteen laws yesterday. Yeah, it was a whole. Um, yeah, I think it was like eighteen of them. It was like eighteen. He didn't waste no time. I no time. Yeah, I think he did some more today. Yes. Yeah, he didn't waste no time. I don't blame him. I don't blame Immigration him. Immigration is a huge issue, um, and he's dealing with that. COVID-19. Right. right. Center on their platform. Dr. Fauci is back. Dr. Fauci even said he felt so comfortable. Dr. Fauci had a little swag in him, too. I know. He, you, I mean, the, the poor had, man been fired. He like, got that press conference. He was like, yes. Yeah. So, let me Poor Dr. Dr. Fauci got fired like what, 10 times. <laughs> but yeah, Fa Fauci got fired several times. <laughs> bring, bring, bring him back. Bring him back. Oh, we'll fire him next week if he don't. Right, right. So, and he um, said it. He said it. It was scary just saying, you know, knowing that something was going to obviously cause contention when it's all said and done and right. cause problems. And and he said, he said to one of the journalists at the press conference, he's like, oh, well, you know, I, I, I mentioned that a few times, but I also got in trouble for it. And so the, the journalist came back and said, oh, you know, you, you joked about being in trouble. He's like, oh, no, I wasn't joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know. I was serious. I, I did. It was serious. trouble. Exactly. Oh man! It's serious. It, I know. just feel but, as if there is right. a different feeling. There is such a different feeling. Yesterday, when Kamala Harris was beat, when she walked out, the flurries coming down. It like was like Regan, I, Regan texted me. He was like, "It's <laughs> heavenly confetti." It's and heavenly confetti. Like, that was the perfect way to describe it How right amazing it, it was like yeah because it didn't snow for nobody else and as soon as her and joe walks out the snow comes down and it's like what in the world it's like oh. heavenly confetti that gave me goosebumps i'm like yo this is like <laughs> on a whole different level right now purification purification right you're right and purification. i love the fact that they asked the new speaker uh for joe uh about the cleansing of the white house Right, so right, right, knows, right, right. I love that. They cleaned everything, you know, Lysol <laughs> everywhere. Get yep. that get that scum smuck every I'll just get it off the walls. Yep. New sheets. Yep, everything. no sheets. You know, no more you dick know. stains on the sheet. Nothing. No, they no. have new mattresses. But the the they Bidens, need new beds as well. Yeah, the Bidens move in a month from now. Now they stayed there last night. They did? But they don't move in, you know, but uh, I think a month from now, they're going to officially move in. Now, right. Joe Biden will be there working every day, of course. But, I mean. I hope they slept on the floor. I would I want everything they... <laughs> gutted. It's like rip out the carpets. I want some hardwood. I, I don't want to see any part of these people. And, by the way, they're non-mask wearing. So, you know, there's some COVID and some crevices in that one. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just feel like the night before. Um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like you know, if Trump was probably running around kicking boogers out and rubbing it underneath desks and shit, and just you know, doing <laughs> clean in corners, just being nasty, man. You know, <laughs> just just doing nasty himself. shit. Like, yeah, you gonna right. sit? I'm gonna piss in this corner right here. You know, <laughs> I just feel it's like one of those things. I'm gonna leave some, some, some stuff here for you. I'm gonna leave. Some I, what I thought about. I you thought about as, the as these, as these. <laughs> Staff, these White House staffers stood there and they waited for him and Melania to leave on Marine One. I mean, I can you imagine <laughs> these staffers? They're like they when when that Marine One flew away, like on bated breath. It was like, oh, like yes, you know, it's like that movie. I'm waiting to exhale. Like, hooray! I mean, it, it, because it was, you have people that's been there from since. The the bushes. Right. You know, it's like, Thanks for tuning no. in. Oh. It's, it's, it's a sigh of relief. Sigh of so, relief. Get, get them, I, I, I don't know here. about you, but another part of my, the favorite entrance to the inauguration was when Morpheus came out with the wife, you know, and they yeah. came out in the trench coats. I was expecting yeah. samurai swords. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting <laughs> samurai swords, 
Yeah. Even even the guy on the news was like, look, man, I'm trying to get this coat tomorrow. I'm going to try to see if I could find this coat. Oh, right? my God. Oh, my gosh. It was awesome. It was awesome. Her, her outfit Beautiful. was boss. I mean, like, I was like, wow. They Beautiful. came out. She looks like a daggone ninja. She looked like she had, like, samurai right. under her coat. She had <laughs> something. She's just going to draw down and go, yeah, bitches, whatever. You know? Black gloves. <laughs> Beautiful moment, beautiful moment, you yep. know, to see the right people in the in, in the place to be uh, around our new president and VP. Um, like I said, man, it's, I, as, a, as a man, I, you know, I have two little girls, my nine year old. And the funny thing is, a lot of people think, you know, kids don't hear or see or understand. Yesterday, my nine year old, my seven year old, they're talking and making jokes about the fact that Trump didn't hang around to uh, welcome Joe Biden and his wife in the house. And they're nine and seven and they're laughing and joking about it. But my daughter, the nine-year-old, is, is, is still speaking about our VP and talking about her. And it's a great feeling because as a man, as a father, mm -hmm. you preach to your daughter. You, you know, you, you can do anything on your own. You don't need a man to get anything for you. You can be whatever it is you want to be. Um, just just work hard, just drive and believe in yourself. and to have Miss Harris as the VP, because I believe she'll be the next president. I believe she's going to be excellent as a VP. Mm -hmm. I believe she'll be even better as our next president. Yep. I don't think you can pick a better person as VP. I think she's, and I love Michelle Obama, but, you know, I, I, I did some background check on Miss Harris, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Yep. With, um, her resume I'm, I'm, I'm waiting and, on and the cookout. We're going to have, like, roti and chicken and on the lawn no no no, no. she's married to a, she's married to a white man so that's all right know, that's all right she can, throw, she can throw, throw down that wow, rope she can throw down <laughs> well, <laughs> you gonna have that curry chicken man nah, no, gonna let me tell you pineapples on the pizza man you know i don't know <laughs> pineapple on pizza is actually great <laughs> yeah got, I, don't, I don't know she we has that to... jamaican blood she oh yeah has that indian blood yep. let me tell you there is some there is some curry, some curry, something, something, something. Yeah. Oh, you got that so jerk oh, chicken. Oh. It's going, yeah, bomba clock. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. But, you know, like exactly what RL said, I did some research on her and her family. You know, borderline a little stalking. And right. <laughs> I just think, I, I mean. She's probably like the most researched person right now. Incredibly impressed. Mm -hmm. Incredibly, this woman comes from a line of professionals. So here is a, a a young, you know, half Caribbean, half Indian young girl. Parents got divorced very early. We right. all know when Indian parents get divorced, it's like a big taboo on you know the family. Yeah, wherever you're from. And here, her mother you know, had took her and her sister and really pretty much raised them by herself. She was a single mom. This woman went back and became a doctor of cancer research. She she passed away from cancer, but she right. really was instrumental. She was a civil rights movement, uh, you know, person out on the streets, marching and all of that, very active. And Kamala and her sister Maya grew up seeing that. And what I did not realize, because I couldn't understand, you know, I always saw the little girls and then the, the niece who um, is, is very affluent, uh, author, well-read, uh, very, very beautiful. Couldn't understand. I was like, whose child is this? Because I know her sister, her sister Maya is married to an African-American man. And so I looked it up, come to find out her sister, Maya, um, got pregnant when she was in her senior year of high school. She had the daughter, who's Nina, and mm. who's the, the tall girl that was with them. And the two little girls are actually Nina's daughters. Wow. And her sister, Maya, went back to school, got finished high school, got a bachelor's degree, went to law school, and graduated. So you have Kamala Harris, an attorney. You have Maya Harris, an attorney. 
Mina Harris saw the strength of these women being ra raising her in a home of professionals. She went to school, went to Harvard, graduated as an attorney. Um, and while her mom was going to law school, she was like four years old. She pretty much, the, the mother went to a pretty good law school as well, um, Maya Harris. And come to find out, she was playing hide and go seek with who is now her stepdad. And so she was the reason that they met mm. on campus. They knew each other. They graduated. Um, and it was like, I think 10 years after they pretty much met, they, they married and he raised Mina as his own daughter. Mm. His Twitter name is Mina's dad. Wow. wow. And Mina is now a mom of two. She's not married, but she has her, her, her partner, her baby daddy, whatever you want to call him. He is a stay at home dad. The roles have flipped in their household because during 2016, that campaign, she actually started a business called Phenomenal. And if you look it up, she is now, it is like a multi-million dollar company where she wow. branded this, this word Phenomenal. It's t-shirts, sweaters, hats. I mean, just about you name it, cups, whatever, a phenomenal woman, phenomenal um, mother, phenomenal teacher, phenomenal lawyer, whatever. She just branded that name and runs this company authored two books. Um, just amazing. I mean, when you, and these are people that did not sit and wait for the handout to uh, go into the White House and become, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that is so huge for uh, our young ladies today and, and, and even our women in their 20s and 30s right now to hear. You know, it, it, it's, it's something that um, I'm glad that you mentioned and, and you brought up. But we need uh, other uh, um, media and outlets to um, get that out there because it's something that needs to be known. It's, you know, we have a lot of women out here who are um, going through, you know, the struggle, the same, you know, life challenges and stuff like that. And they get discouraged like, oh, I ain't going to be able to do this. I ain't going to be able to do that. And that's not true. That's just not true. You got to put in the work. You got to go ahead and realize there's, there's going to be hard times. You're going to have some sacrifices. Yep. But if it's what you want to do, then yep. do it. No one can stop you from doing it. You know, um, uh, one of the things about Miss Hurst, man, Miss Hurst, they dogged her because she was she, over in Cali. She was locking motherfuckers up, man. She was locking them up, throwing away the key. And they was dogging her for it. But one of the things that I liked about it, you know, and I was like, oh, okay. Because if you do the crime, do the time. That's how I am. I don't care who you are. You know, fuck Pookie. He can stay in there for 10 years. I don't care if you, whatever, whatever. Right. But, she was giving them opportunities while they were locked up. So when you came out, you had a job. You had you could go get go to school. It, it was so many different avenues. She was helping re rehabilitate them while they were in. So yeah, she was locking them up. You're supposed to go to jail. I don't, I don't understand why some people, are, damn the Clintons, damn they locking them up. You know, you you broke the law, bitch. You going to jail? But <laughs> she was giving them you know, avenues and opportunities to better themselves while they were in so that when they came out, they wouldn't have to resort back to the same lifestyle that that, that got them locked up in the first place. So, she, you know, she she's, oh my God, I love her. She's incredible. She's incredible. And um, I love the fact that Joe, uh, when he reached into that magic hat, he pulled out, uh, um, he pulled out a zebra. You know, he, he ain't just pull out a rabbit like most people. He pulled the zebra out. That's right. You know? And um, I, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. Like like Alicia said, I feel good. When I remember when Trump won, I was so scared to wake up the next day. And the next day, I'm like, Lord, we don't know what is going to happen. This this fool is crazy. What's going to happen? Uh, what's what, what what's going to happen to my family? You know, and right. even though I'm not going to look, the man was off, right? But I didn't lose my job, and I ain't seen too much money lost. So let me say that. So don't get in there, Joe, and come and let y'all fuck up, and all of a sudden I see taxes. <laughs> because he ain't do nothing for four years. Like, we got to take back what he didn't do. I want to hear that. Right. I ain't lose no money. Yeah, I ain't and, lose and, no money. 
And just spend a little bit of time that. doing the take back, but I, I need you to move forward. We we shouldn't spend too much time doing the reversals. You know, they yeah. you know they're going they're in, reversing they're things right that now. They're, actually, they're going in there right the now to unfuck what what he did, and it, they don't need to, to spend too much time on it. Do it. Get out of there. Let's start moving ahead and start with your agenda. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting to see. What's your agenda? How are we going to do this? He said 100 vaccines in 100 days. I got to see that. You know, it's 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 one of them things. Is it 100? I can't remember what, what the word is. Like 100,000 100, or something wanna, like that. It, it's, a, it's a ridiculous number that they want. I think it's 100 do. million or something like that is what, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. It's 100 million in the first 100, 100 days. days. And, it, and according to Dr. Fauci, micro root, uh, it's doable. Yeah, they're probably going to have like a little aircraft flying across and spraying people. Yeah, I hope not. I hope <laughs> not. Like mosquitoes. Oh, spray. Just, I, I I actually received um the first uh, one an alert. No, I, I oh. wish I could. <laughs> oh. But I actually received an alert today mm -hmm. of something that I knew I had a feeling was going on in Florida, and they're like, "Oh, only Florida residents can receive the COVID vaccine in Florida." Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Only Florida no, residents. Oh, you know how it's supposed to be? Well, but probably what it, what they meant by that is like you know people will say, well, you know what they're doing it in Florida. Let's drive over to Florida and see. That's what exactly what was happening. Just and blind. They were allowing people yep. to come in, not I'm, checking IDs. Yep, I'm gonna get by. I'm gonna get this on, shot while I'm over there. You make an appointment. People are driving from Georgia, Alabama, and coming and getting their vaccines in Florida. And we're now having um, little peaks at schools for staff and students because now that you know that new strain that's out where it's it's more contagious. Yeah. It so is people are getting sick, and of course, teachers are not on his top priority list um, and, over and here, especially in other states. Right. They are. It is. We are. Uh, and look, so today, right? Without them telling us, without them telling the people that's actually um, assisting with um, giving the vaccine out, they didn't tell uh, those individuals. But we started today at our at our hospital, John Hopkins. We started administering to the teachers. You know, and the lines were incredibly long, and people was incredibly shocked because they had no clue that teachers were coming today. But, you know, uh, teachers are coming up and they're getting the vaccine, which is good because they're trying to um, send, they're sending kids back to school in February and March. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah. So, you know, uh, kudos, to, uh, kudos to, 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 to Larry Hogan, man. This man last yep. Friday mm -hmm. had to go in and have um, uh, uh, minor surgery. But I don't know if you call it minor surgery when it comes to uh, tumors. Uh, or whatever, cancer, uh, whatever, it was in his cheekbones and his shoulders, and he went right. and got the radiation, and he was back on the front line the next day uh, for the people of Maryland. So yeah, he's a happen. trooper. He is. He, you know, he, the man, the man is. The man a does his life. thing, man. I'm, I'm, I, I can't, I can't take any anything away from him. He does his thing. He, he, he's, you know, he cares about the Maryland. He cares about Maryland and cares about Maryland standings, and you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's. He cares about the people. He's a people person. <laughs> He gave the people of Maryland a stimulus check last Thursday. Our governor right. gave out a, a stimulus check to those who needed it. Right. Maryland. Mm -hmm. And then he went and he had the cancer removed from his body Friday and came back Saturday. The man is incredible. Mm -hmm. The man is incredible. You know, but you got a lot of people who don't do their homework or uh, they really don't understand politics. They don't try to understand politics. The only time they even come across anything political is on Facebook or Instagram. You know, they don't do the homework and it's really sad. They all oh, fuck Larry Hogan. Oh, fuck you, dog. Larry Hogan is the shit. You know what I mean? Dog, he is everything to me. I, I've, I've been a huge supporter of Larry Hogan. Um, yeah, he's a Republican, but um, coming up, uh, once I joined the military, I, I realized a few things. You know, uh, what people have said about Republicans aren't true. What the Republicans have said about Democrats aren't true. Mm -hmm. You live and learn. Do your homework. My first Republican that I fell in love with was Senator, the late, great John McCain. And I went from there. I went from there. And then because I got to see the world, I, 
other states and I got to see what other people were doing. You have to pay attention to these individuals, especially because you, you, if you're responsible, you're going to go vote for them. Don't just circle a name, circle a little dot with a name next to it, check a box. Find out who you're voting for and yep. come up with a reason as to why you don't want to vote for them or why yep. you want to. You yeah, know? any mini mini mo don't cut it no more. No, this ain't this isn't the <laughs> SAT. This is not your SAT. You know, D is not it's always not your SAT. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'll just circle I C for everything. That's not what they're doing on SAT. <laughs> you, you, you know the uh, three hours. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah. I want to just I, I want to jump take for I take a short moment here and just uh you know shout out some. Uh, of our viewers right now that's watching us. Um, want to shout out, um, let's see, Miss Holly Guyadine, it's mom. <laughs> hey, hey, mom. Um, we got Mike, Mike McCoy as usual. Mike McCoy's on him, Miss Betran. Um, Miguel Winbish, thanks for dropping in, bro. Um, what's up, Miguel? Yep. Yeah. Um, they got, you know, they got a few comments in here. Uh, pretty much when Winbish, when we were talking, when we were talking about, um, you know, uh, when Alicia was talking about um, what's her name, Ms. Harris's Vice President Harris's um, background, yeah, right. Miguel basically said, you know, um, that's awesome and failure is not an option. Um, that's what, you know, his takeaway from it. Um, Ms. Bertrand had a good um, thing on here. She said, I wonder if the COVID cases will go up in D.C. because the, uh, because of the insurrection. I mean, virtually none of these idiots were wearing. No, they've all returned to Florida. Right. Tell her <laughs> not go to worry. Florida, right? It probably mm -hmm. go up in Florida. Mm -hmm. Right. And we've already given out our vaccines to everybody else, so don't worry. That right. Great. I, I got I got my vaccine. I got my first shot last Wednesday. Okay. Did you and get I the get... Pfizer or Moderna? Uh. uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I got a shot. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't from Johnson and Johnson. I can tell you that much. Oh, my oh God. don't. That's what the, I, I'm telling you. That's what teachers in Florida. That's what we're going to end up getting. That Johnson and Johnson. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Johnson and Johnson. No, it was. It was Pfizer. Pfizer is the one that's that's supposed to be in like the the I don't know below freezing temperature, some right. kind of weirdness, yeah. and and Moderna is. I think it could be at like regular. Yeah, it was Pfizer. I got so they gave they give you a card. They give, I ain't gonna put my card up here, but they give you a little white card. And um, I go back February fifth for my second shot. Now, a lot yeah. of people are concerned about side effects and stuff like that. Well, it's just that like, comes with the second shot. Mm, uh, well, I, I had I had the side effects after the first shot, right? You did. <laughs> wow. So, so I'm sitting at work, right? I'm sitting at work, and 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 uh, my body starts to eight right and it's more so my legs and i just started thinking about november because it was my legs that were aching before i realized what i had so i, I go home that night but i'm not aching real bad it's like that nagging aching kind of thing and um i had a slight headache and i was like oh god please please don't let this last long so they said only you know for about 24 to 48 hours uh mine's are probably 24 my body was hurting. I woke up the next morning, right, because I took some Tylenol, so I was good. I woke up, and my left hand was hurting, and I was like, oh, God, please, please don't, please, please don't let me get sick, but uh, by 12 o'clock the next day, I was good. I was good, so, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've never gotten sick after the flu shot, but I know people who get the flu shot and get horribly sick, as yeah. if they had the flu. Yeah. So, you know, um, Ms. Bertrand is on here asking, how many shots are there? Um, so it'll be, it's it'll two, be two, for, two. It's two, two per. It, if it's the Pfizer or the what was it, the Moderna? It's it's two of it, It's two of each. Yeah. Um, Johnson, not Johnson two of each. One. You take one. You it's <laughs> either the Pfizer or it's either the uh, right. the other one or Johnson and Johnson. The first is like a booster shot, and then right. you have the second one, but you have to take it within six. They they give you a time to come right. back. They give and you get the first. It. They give you the first one to see if you'll survive you'll be fine <laughs> um our dad took it and he's great everyone that i that i know except for you rl took the first shot and they were fine 
And so I, I, I've heard, and also just hearing, you know, the stories on the news and stuff like that, um, that the second shot, that's the one where you feel the side effects a little bit more. But it's yeah, I've like heard that too. I heard it puts for, you out for a couple of days. Yeah, in order for that first shot really doesn't do anything, but really prepare your body for that second shot. That second shot is what is has that, you know, the big defense mechanism in it yeah, to protect well, you. I'm I'm taking off. I'm taking off the next <laughs> two days after that because you know I I'm not I'm uh, you know it's just if you had it. It's like, oh God, please, just. But, right, but, look. but okay, so in in reference to the working environment, I feel like okay, we already know the second shot has um, might have some side effects or whatnot. You might need to take some time off. I don't think we you should be penalized to use your PTO time. It should be something set up in the organization, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, to give you that time. Take, yeah, take a look at the face. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> I don't think I don't think it should be on my dime. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of them things. It, it's not. See, and, and they're gonna do that because for us, I'm I'm not sure about anywhere else. It's not mandatory at our job, right? Uh, so fuck it. You are gonna use yet. your PTO time, or you ain't getting paid, right? You know, it's not mandatory yet. Yeah, it's not. Not to mention, get... a lot of people don't have side effects. It, it it's like you may get the side effects, so a lot of people right. don't. But if you have something set up like that, you better believe everyone would have some side effects. Yeah. yeah. It would be like, yeah. oh, I get I get two days. Okay. Ooh, my head hurts. I'm gonna bring legs. my side effect and ass to work. I'm telling you, I know they're gonna have to they go to deal with me for two days or at work. I'm bringing my ass to work with my side effects. <laughs> you know, nah, I'm getting paid to have side effects. That's you know? right. But um and you can I, I tell them all about it while you're there. Yeah, I, you know, and that's the thing. You have a lot of people who they're not speaking to the right people uh, about this. They're not doing the research, the homework. You got all these conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And, you know, I, like I told a young lady, I said, well, it's kind of stupid to give the front liners the vaccine and you kill them because there's nobody to take care of them. I said, I would be more concerned about getting it nine months from now once the frontliners get it. They might kill you. You know what I mean? Like, here, take this take this cocktail and you'll be the one getting killed. Give it to me with everybody else. They're not trying to get rid of frontliners, so take this shit now. You know, Johnson & Johnson, I'm telling you, uh, look, I was, I was in love with their products when I was a kid. I don't trust that. Them, the no. And what you see on the news, like, if you use Johnson and Johnson between the years, <laughs> da, 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 they, they look, they've been fucking people up for over a hundred years. Call this number because home. you possibly have cancer. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Don't skip on Johnson and Johnson. If you can come across the uh, cool water version of the vaccine, get it for all those born in the fifties, but do not get Johnson and Johnson, man. Right. Leave that stuff alone if you can. I don't want that. You know, that's, get it. That's now. going to be the the set of vaccines that our governor would be like. Oh yeah, let's give that to the teachers. Oh yeah, that's good. They on the beach anyway. Give give them that. Give them that. Just give it's those good. to the teachers because we don't <laughs> want them anyways. So they pretty much, have a so pretty much uh, going back to the the executive actions uh, Biden um is planned. Um, he oh, says look at you bringing reverse... us back in. Mm-hmm. He says. <laughs> He says he's going to reverse Muslim travel ban. Um, what is that? Uh, rejoin Paris Climate Accord. He did um, that. He did, he that. did. Right. Cancel the Keystone Hellfire. Pipeline. That was the other thing he was going to do. Um, eight, a, another, uh, this is crazy because I think this has to do with a wall, but it's going to be an eight-year citizenship path for immigrants. <laughs> an eight-year citizenship path? But- path for the immigrants. I, I think the path is going to go right through that wall. <laughs> Gonna be like a shortcut through the wall, but anyway, um, he he's doing a face uh, face mask mandate on federal property, and then he's halting eviction. He right, he's doing. And he's also halting evictions, um, except for Trump's. But um, ex- <laughs> <laughs> they got. He's go. also. Um, yeah, and he's also he also extended. Uh, he puts an extended pause on student loan payments. So if you have student loans, you get a 
Yeah. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. And then a hundred million vaccinations in a hundred days. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, he's working pretty fast because he, he signed some stuff, right. I think right during the inauguration, he signed off a whole bunch of, you know, orders. So he's working on this stuff. Well, I tell you, you I'm not that. sure. I didn't see the news today. Did what, 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 what happened today? What did they do today? What, what, what was their day like? What did they, I mean, well, you know, um, they did, they, I mean, he went in, I want to say he, he dealt with the COVID situation. Um, of course, he had to deal with, uh, you know, some of the backlash that came with the, um, the uh, getting back with, with the Paris Climate International thing. Right. And, all, and, and the only reason it's called Paris is in the name is that that's where they need it, dummy. You know, you had a lot of people catch, you know, giving them grief about, you know, like, like, oh, you're getting with Paris. Like, Paris was going to be um, uh, in the forefront of it as far as making decisions and all that. And that wasn't the case. Um, you know... I didn't catch on to a lot of stuff he was doing today. I was going over uh, a lot of the inaugural stuff yesterday. Um, but they said he's been working all day, um, you know, getting just, just getting in, getting busy. And like you said, he doesn't have much time. The man is 80 years old. You don't know when he's going to die. So you're right. He doesn't have much time. Let's get Joe in there, get Joe working. Yep. Because the sad thing is he is 80. He's eight. The man, eight. He's, he's, he's old. Right, and I love the fact that he he ran yesterday to uh, dap up Al Roker. I and, love that because he oh, did it. Oh, I love it. He did, he did it. it uh, four, what? What? Twenty thirteen? Yeah, he did it. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. He did the it. same thing. He ran up to Al and and, and, and dap them up. I, Al Roker I, had snacks in a bag, just trying to like lure, lure them. him. Had, like their favorite <laughs> snacks in a plastic bag. He's like, I'm gonna get somebody to come over here. <laughs> so funny. It. Now, I want to. Before we even, I, I just, I want to bring something up. I just thought of how disgustingly distasteful it was that President Trump, mm -hmm. at the time, he was still the president, refused to send Air Force One or an aircraft for the incoming president. Joe Biden rented an airplane to transport him and his family the night before the inauguration. Wow. And then this clown well, gets on Marine One and then gets on Air Force One so he could fly his little self down here to Florida and then go through some crazy motorcade on the road. I mean... The man, the really? man, the man is trash. The man is no class. That's classless. Yeah, That's the really man classless. Is, I, I know. I, 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 I was just waiting for them to throw him out, like how they throw jazz out, you know, on on Fresh Prince and of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah. It, it, ah, it's unbelievable. Is. And uh, Joe Joe Biden, President Biden, and Vice President Harris started their term without having any one of their cabinet officials appointed because again the trump administration refused to approve them uh -huh. they, that administration aka donald trump made it so difficult for them to just have a proper transfer of power it was so difficult and yet this team came in blazing blazing mm -hmm. it was he was ready and 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 it was a go from the minute that inauguration was finished it wasn't about oh let's go have a party and a ball oh wait have some stuff to sign let's do that first yes that's right he swore in all like almost over a thousand people over mm -hmm. zoom i think it was yep, I think yep. It was zoom, that worked for him and one thing I, I thought, of course, he spoke to them about the fact that we are working for the American people. And he told them flat out, if I ever hear or catch you being disrespectful to another person or coworker, I will fire you on the spot. I was like, get it, Joe. 
Yeah, you, um, you, you got to love that energy. You got to love that he's coming in, he's taking charge, he's letting them know I'm all about business. And it's like it's like I said, I think he knows too, he doesn't have a lot of time. You, you, I mean, I ain't saying the man can't live to be 90, but who the hell wants to be 90 as a president? Why does he live until he's 100? What's wrong with I, you? You see why you, Jimmy? Why are you trying to kill off Joe? You see Jimmy oh. Carter? You see Jimmy Carter? Jimmy Carter looked like the Walking Dead. But Jimmy okay. Carter is not the president anymore. He's Joe not, is, and we need Joe to have that life and that energy for another good decade. We need that. But, but, you we know, needed him. Really this for. country needed him. We're hoping Laura. for that. We're hoping for that. But the reality <laughs> is, we keep. You know, our leaders that are qualified and that we like, they're old. They're old. I love his energy. I hope he can keep it up. I love the fact that his predecessor, well, hopefully his predecessor, is younger, is extremely younger. You know, that way she could, if, if Joe does do eight years, it's not going to take away from her doing eight years. But I, I, I like the fact that Joe is coming in. He's all business. Let's get it oh, done. She's good. Don't worry. She's got that Caribbean and she's got that Indian jeans. She's good for another, like, mm -hmm. a, a good 50. Yep. She yeah, I know, but she she married to a white man, and you know he might take 50 what years. What does that have to do with anything? I know. She she go home, drink some saffron tea, and she's all right. Don't don't mess with <laughs> Doug. He is a nice man. Yeah. He is a he nice man. He has to earn his pass. He has to earn that pass with us. Oh, he's earned that pass, honey. Look, he loves up. that man. Hey, Priyanka Chopra is married to Nick Jonas. He's a white guy, and and, and he's yeah. all Indian down. Nah, he, he, he embraced channel. the That's brown. Like, he's from the Disney but he's, channel. But Nick Jonas, from the by Disney the way, channel. is like almost, what, 10 years younger than Priyanka Chopra? Yeah. Yeah, but his money exceeds her by 50 years. So, I mean, it <laughs> does not. You know, he got that Disney money. His ass is on my TV Disney. every day. Right, right, right. That Disney money. <laughs> he has to share with his brothers, by the way. So, Ms. Betran just um, dropped some trivia on me here. She said um, the White House officials told President Biden that he couldn't have his Peloton bike in the White House because since it has a camera and a microphone on it, it could be a security risk. The poor Joe got to get on the 10 speed and ride around with the Secret Service in the yard. Oh, well, okay. hey, get it somehow. There right. Is, there get it. He's gonna, still alive. I, I mean, get it the man's somehow. 78 years old and he was able to run to Al and, and, not, and, not, and not crack a breath. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. he got some years in him. He got some years in him. I hope so. I right. hope so. I, you you know, know, I'm I'm I might be an old horse, but I'm I'm still in the I'm still out here in the pasture. <laughs> I hope so. I, I really do. Right. You know, he waited long enough for he this does. opportunity. He yes. waited long enough. Yeah. And you know what? He entered this leadership and this reign at the right time because this is when the United States of America needed him as their president. Because no one else could come in and heal this country like someone like, like, like Joe Biden. Exactly. This is a man that has gone through such pain. You talk about you've lost a spouse, so did he. You've mm -hmm. lost a child, he lost two. Yep. Yep. He's dealt with a tragedy. He's taken the train, worked, been that single dad. Mm -hmm. well, he was sworn in for the first time in the United States Senate in the hospital. With his children in the hospital, while okay. his his after losing his wife and daughter in a in a terrible car accident. So mm -hmm. this man, he is humble. He has the strength and the backbone of a lot of people who respect him, and he is all about the people. He's not there to climb a ladder. This man too old to climb ladders. He's not there to go anywhere. <laughs> He's gone where he needs to go, and he is ready to serve. And that's the best type of person we can ask for right, right. now. Right. And, and 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 to top it off, the most recent um 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 thing with him, he had the shittiest um um presidential reception uh, um exchange out of every president. It, it's crazy. So on top of that, you yeah. think he did. Right. I would be breathing a sign of relief because Exa nobody it is, wants but, to but sit it, with it, freaking it, Trump. You know, it, it's so disrespectful. He was disrespected say. and he still held his head up high. Bro, do you think 
Biden wants to sit there and sip tea with Trump? No. No. The man told he told Trump to shut up during a debate. Yeah, you know? he, did. Yeah. he did. He does not want to hear him. And so it was I, know. I thought I, I thought he was gonna give him that old line. Why I ought to <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see the the remarks and the and the messages from our former presidents to President Biden? I thought that was amazing. That was it was beautiful. Obama, it was beautiful. President Bush, and President Clinton. President Clinton, by the way, looks as if he is like 102. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. But he looks like a mess. But he does. That, that's from all those STDs, though. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that gonorrhea, that gonorrhea, where are you there? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. But I thought that was amazing. And Leave old, leave old Billy alone. These are heartfelt messages from, it's like, this is, this is a club that yeah. Trump could never be a part of. You, you no. gave up everything, everything, because you thought you were about to be a dictator. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead, you ended up being a dictator. Donald Trump. <laughs> That's awful, man. He missed his opportunity. To uh, really make a difference in, in in the world, and you know, it's it's kind of like when, when, when people of color talk, we say, "No, you got good, you got good white people, and you got bad white people, right?" Right. And it, it's more than just you know when you hear the good and the bad, whatever. But you 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 have Joe Biden, but you have Donald Trump, and one of the richest trailer park trash guys I've ever seen. It's just incredible. He had this ignorant ignorant ass following. And he wound up burning them in the end. And it's just like, see, that's that's what y'all get. Because all of y'all are bad people. You're just bad fucking people. Just bad people. And like you said, Alicia, it's best that he wasn't there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, You're right. You know, all, he would just poop all there. over that parade. Oh, Every, Everybody else that was there, they may have. Joe wouldn't have done it because Joe couldn't have done it. But they may have had something to say or that look, you know, like, mm, get out. And, you and, know what I'm saying? I think when, if he was there, a lot of it would take it would have taken away a big chunk of the ceremony for us to pay attention to what was going on, how they were getting sworn in. Because at some point, the media was going to always swing over. Let's see how Donald's taking it. See, see the look on his face. It would, have take, it would have taken away the attention of what was really going on. Yeah, so I'm glad he was. Yeah. You know, sign our bitch. You know, it, it, the, the only president to not own a pet while in the White House. He did. He did. Who? Who? His, his, a lion. His yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. they say she was a fox? <laughs> She's a fox. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's just you know, it says a lot you know about a person and their spirit. I, and I have to say, I mean, that poor woman was. I, I am probably embarrassed so much every day. It's crazy. Because remember, she was writing this book. I'm waiting to see this book drop. She's a, she, I, don't, I feel no sympathy for her because she's I, a, I, I agree with right, her. Right. A gold digging whore. It was, and, and, it, it, it's got to be embarrassing. Thank you very much. She actually no. tried to save face after the riot. And um, and I feel like she was coaxed. Um, she, she said, I don't believe uh, it was genuine. Donald wasn't responsible. Well, okay, bitch. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It, it was all it, it was all rehearsed. That it, it was not. Um, you know, it's like wait, oh genuine. wait, you're an immigrant of the country and you still can't speak the language. Right. My bad. That's crazy. That's crazy. my bad. Okay. And, and don't forget, like in the beginning of the term, she 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 plagiarized Miss Obama. Come on oh, now, yeah, Obama, uh, Michelle Obama stuff. So. Yeah, come on now. Hey, hey, look, if you ain't, if you can't, if you ain't got nothing to say, you might as well get it from the best. I ain't mad at her. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And, and my mother's watching. My mother always say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, go outside and spit. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that right there, it's, it's going to be interesting the next six months uh, between the two of them. There's no way. I mean, you know, it, it's, it was a fraud. You know, the, we, everybody knew before they got in the White House when they first got together, it, it was just a fraudulent relationship. Right. You know, it's a I'm, fake. 
Look, look, I Mikey, think now that she has Mikey her just said it. redone, because she she did not go into the White House until she had that prenup redone. And that's the reason why she stayed in New York. And everyone said it was so that the son can finish school, finish his semester or whatever. That was a bunch of hocus pocus. So malarkey. Right. She stayed because she needed to redo her prenup so that she can get more. And also that son that they have, uh, was not entitled to anything of any of the inheritance. And so she wanted him to receive an equal fair amount with all the kids. I mean, here's a man, he's got kids with three different women. And he didn't want to give his son anything. Maybe it wasn't well, that, 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 that make any sense. That's your blood. That that is that that is your maybe spawn. it isn't. But the thing is, the thing is his other kids um, the, the, the first batch, I call them, they're in batches. So the first batch, uh, they want everything for themselves. So they were the ones that, and if ever you look at the way that family presented themselves, right. you would always find the first batch on one side and then Melania and the son on the other side. Uh-huh. And then Trump is the big cheese in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. They were never together holding and hugging each other. You see how Kamala Harris around. is like hugging on her, her stepchildren and, and, and just they're holding hands and they're walking together and everyone is very much embraced. That never happens. That family is so dysfunctional. It is sickening and pathetic. Yeah, there was an immigration wall built just invisible in that family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's sad. They're not a family. It's just not a family. It is a reality show that we got to watch for four years, and it was awful. It was a disgrace. Right. It was awful. It was on. It was on Oprah's network. It was that bad. It was just <laughs> awful. Oprah wouldn't even put that on. <laughs> I don't well, know. Oprah. Oprah's kind of just trashy too with some of the things she's done and said. So I, I got Oprah putting it on there. You know, her and Donald were good friends at one point. So. You know, well, it's, I, it's, our, our, our time's running out now, so um, I guess we could do a little wrap up. I mean, it was great talking about all of this uh, inauguration stuff. Um, n- hopefully, next week we can have some more interesting stuff to talk about. <laughs> I'm sure, we will. Yeah, yeah, we will. We definitely um, will. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kick it off first. Um, so you guys, you know, I want to say thanks for watching Good Vibes TV and being faithfully on here, Ms. Betran, McCoy, you know who you are. All the people that watch us, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching us and keeping us on here, you know, um, and having us come and get up and do this every every night, well, every Tuesday night. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, again, I'm doing Trini Spice FM. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with that. I got a whole bunch of new soca music coming out for 2021. You want to listen to it, just jump on board. Um, Dr. Guiding, what you got going on? Um, Just getting through whatever's going on here in Florida. Uh, (laughs) Ordering chucks and pearls. Right. Ordering my chucks, wearing my pearls, enjoying the fact that I have a new president and vice president just blessing our nation. And I'm just I'm just praying hard for us to have a wonderful and prosperous 2021 and you know, I'm, I'm busy just being a mom and working with my students, working remotely. I'm really hoping for the vaccines that come my way. And that way I can possibly be back at on campus with my students. I miss that interaction. So just that going on, nothing much, really. Well, well, you know, uh, I ain't gonna talk about what I got going on because until COVID passed, it don't make a damn difference anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, let everybody know and support this holiday coming up. I'm really going to really push Valentine's Day is coming up. That's right. And for those that are scared to get the vaccination, to get the vaccine, I will be selling condoms with the vaccine on the condom. So not only will you protect yourself, you can protect the one that you love by inserting 
uh, your erect penis with that condom on inside of your girlfriend or wife's vagina. And you will both have a double dose of the vaccination through these special condoms that uh, will be coming your way shortly. And there's no need in running out and buying your girl anything special for Valentine's Day. You can get her a pair of chucks, but you ain't got to buy a pearl necklace because if you know, like I know, every man can give his woman her own pearl necklace. But and going back to your condoms, I want, I want to, uh, did you see about those new condoms that came out that had a quarter in the, in the front of it? A quarter? Yeah. What, 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 if you read the packet, it said guaranteed if you can come call. <laughs> what are you, what, you all right, man? What the fuck are you doing? We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave it alone. Hey, thank you for watching GVTV. We appreciate every and each, well, each and every one of y'all. Uh, we miss you, Miss Savvy. We, we miss you, Savvy. Uh, hopefully, you're trying out those protective measures I was talking about as well. <laughs> Dr. Alicia Guy Dean. Thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to having you back next week, DJ DJ PRS One. Yeah, Boy, you, you, I'm you always here, just like, just like me, sir. You get ignorant. Hey, y'all, <laughs> tune in to us next week for another episode. Peace. We out. All right. Good vibes.